What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. Today we have an important video about jailbreaks that are currently under development for iOS 14 all the way up to 14.3. Now this video contains a lot of important information and therefore I recommend you not to skip it if you're interested in jailbreaking. It also doesn't contain any sponsored parts to not get in the way. Now I got a lot of questions lately about Potion jailbreak from Potion Team which seems to be a jailbreak for the A12, A13, A14 and so on which apparently works with the Secuta Verosa exploit that was released a couple of weeks ago and many people including Josh here asked me if this is legitimate. They asked me if this is real because they really trust my input and uh, they said in here quote upcoming jailbreak potion we've been working silently behind the scenes to bring the best possible jailbreaking experience to the user. Our jailbreak will support iOS 14.0 to 14.3 in the initial release and we're currently working on iOS 13 support. So this wants to be a cross jailbreak one that works with iOS 13 and iOS 14 as well and while on the paper it looks good, I don't believe that this is a legitimate jailbreak. And hear me out, it's not because of the screenshot that's obviously photoshopped in there. What they showing here is actually possible, but in the past couple of days there have been a lot of joke jailbreaks that have been announced. And it's very likely to meme on the fact that a lot of developers, including Kayla and Project Manticore and Comet jailbreak, have announced their jailbreaks and, you know, all of a sudden a lot of people are building jailbreaks for iOS 14, like 20 different jailbreaks, so a lot of them are actually jokes, memes. But nonetheless, a lot of people who don't have a lot of experience in the jailbreak community do get confused. So is this a jailbreak? Is this a real one? I'm not sure if this one is an obvious joke or really a jailbreak that is being developed, because what they have in here presented wouldn't be too hard to achieve anyways. You would just have to create a new Xcode project, bundle Secuta Verosa, and you have half of it already, and probably the rest is taken from Kayla dev in here, which are basically the patch for the sandbox and amphi and root and so on because that's basically what this jailbreak in this picture does it runs the exploit and then it gets root and escapes the sandbox and that's basically it that's as far as any other jailbreak that was started has gotten to on iOS 14 including Comet as far as I know and Project Manticore and Kayla's rootless jailbreak and so on so even if this is indeed real and it's not a joke it doesn't do anything special than the rest of the amateur jailbreaks did at this point so while I'm not sure sure if this is completely a joke, which it might be, because as I said there have been a lot of jailbreak jokes lately, even if it's not, it's not a full jailbreak yet and it's nothing more than what Kayla Dev has or Project Manticore has or even Comet. But speaking of Comet, I know this was a jailbreak that was announced as open source a couple of days ago, like a week ago, but in meantime the team behind it actually stopped working on it and they argued and they split and apparently there are a couple of IPA files of this jailbreak actually circulating on the internet internet as being complete jailbreak. Please don't use anything Comet jailbreak, it's not complete and it may even be dangerous. This project is officially considered dead and I don't think anybody is still working on it anyways. And if they do, they're amateurs anyways, so I would definitely not try this on my main device. Of course the best jailbreak project that you should wait for at this point is Odyssey jailbreak and once Pattern F releases their TQ pre jailbreak in a couple of days as they announce here, Coolstar can take it if you remember they said quote excited to see if this releases should be able to turn this into a full jailbreak very quickly if this drops as we've been mostly looking for more stable read and write primitives also would be nice if we don't have to burn a new technique for getting amphid task port and that's exactly what pattern f is going to release here in a couple of days so the best jailbreak option right now is not using an amateur jailbreak from whatever team popped up out of the blue the best course of action would be to wait for the odyssey jailbreak to be updated because it's not going to take too much once this is released and of course it's much better they do have a lot of experience behind them they do have a pretty solid team behind so definitely wait for the odyssey i know there are multiple jailbreaks being developed right now some of them are jokes and some of them are legitimate but the best thing to do right now is to wait for the odyssey even the rootless jailbreak by kayla dev which has a great progress being a jailbreak created by an individual who is not part of a major jailbreak team is still not a recommended jailbreak to use if you are a beginner and if you're not a developer. While this one is legitimate and it does have real progress, in fact I think Kayla Dev made the most progress compared to the others, well of course outside
inside Odyssey, it's still not a jailbreak to be used by the general public. It's good that it exists, it's good that they try to sharpen their skills, but it's not something that should be used by the general public. If you don't have a lot of experience with jailbreaking or you just want a stable product, wait for Odyssey jailbreak. Now for the Project Manticore, they also seem to be doing some progress. I'm not sure how much of their tools are actually being reused from Kayla Dev, but it's also a project that apparently seems to be continuing. However, it's best to avoid sketchy jailbreaks, for example Potion, about which I know nothing for the moment, and also Comet, which was apparently riddled with drama and arguments. So the best thing to do right now, wait for the Odyssey jailbreak. Even though there are multiple jailbreaks being developed right now, it's still best to wait for the stable Odyssey one. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.